Hi, it's Tola Milan, licensed esthetician. And you know, I get up early every morning and start my day. I, I usually wake up about six, I'm raring to go, but, um, so I always come down and, and start doing my, you know, my work, because I work as full time as an esthetician and I have my, my websites. I have a big studio and an office here, so. Uh, so I get ready early and I like to look good all day. And at the end of the day, I still want to look good because I don't have time to mess with myself during the day. I don't have time to be fixing myself up or whatever. I just, I'm, I'm always running all the time, which probably keeps me, keeps me young in the long run. But um, I looked so good this morning. I, I go, oh, I look, you know, I, I'm really happy what I did, but I just went upstairs a little bit ago. I, I didn't like the way I looked at all. I just, whatever I did to myself this morning didn't look good at all. And it just shows you how finding the right products and, and finding the right routine for yourself is, makes all the difference in the world. Uh, you know, I, I try to keep it really simple right now, you know, instead of worrying about my makeup so much, I'm, I'm worried, worried about what mask I'll wear for the day. You know, I've got a lot of masks that match my clothes and I figure more people are gonna see that than, you know, what on my face. But I still wanna look good, you know, not only for, for myself, but just I feel like it makes me project myself a little bit better if I feel good. But what I was thinking of just a little while ago, because you wanna be Keep it simple. That's it's not about um, doing the main things to your face right now. You know, I'm an esthetician. I'm not a makeup artist, even though I've taken a million classes in makeup. But uh, just some really easy things that I've thought about now, because in the morning, I you know you want to make sure you, your face needs to be hydrated. It most definitely does because a hydrated face is going to be more youthful and you know if you want to put on some um, concealer you know I, I always just like to put a little bit here not so much for me I'm not it's not so much concealing but I just feel like it finishes it off a little bit and even though this one has this is an osmosis one but even though this has a a um, what do you call it? You know, <laughs> I can't think of the word. The stem to put it on. Applicator, that's the word, I'm sorry. You know, I still like to use my damp sponge and just kind of go back and, and, and pat it in because I feel it makes it look softer. But what I was noticing too is that I, I then you put on your tin and sunscreen or whatever else you want to. But first, like this morning, I put on some powder with my brush, and I was just powdering, you know, and getting it in there. And I decided I like I like it better when I take whatever uh, powder I'm using, whether it be a loose powder. Uh, again, this one's an osmosis powder, but I like to get the spot, get the powder on my applicator, and just push it into the skin. It just seems to push it in a little better and make it look more finished is a good word. Yeah, more finished. So that, that was another thing versus what I did today. And then, you know, your blush, you know, uh, you just for a little bit of color. But what my favorite thing, which I talk about, as you age, I like shimmer in this area. But you know why? Because it makes you look more youthful. Like when my skin, I'm out in the sun, my skin just looks really healthy and it's got a gleam to it, you know, and it looks youthful, hydrated and youthful. So I suggest this, and you want to play around a little bit. You, there's a lot of wonderful ones with, with uh, shimmer powder. There's shimmer um, liquid, different ones. This one, surprisingly, <laughs> Just looking at it because I put on I had a more expensive one on this morning this one I got it at the dollar store um, it doesn't say it's that great or anything but you know if you want to just play around with things and spending instead of spending a lot of money 
just go get yourself one. This one, I don't want to say the name of it because it's, you know, they're different everywhere. But this one's just got a little shimmer to it. Just put it on in this area, you know, not down, whatever, but just here, just to give you a little bit of uh, shine. So that's all because I, you know, I watch a lot of videos myself and a lot of them, especially today with the pandemic, they're just too complicated. You don't want to be wearing a lot of makeup right now, unless you're going to go somewhere that people are going to see your face. But just to keep it simple, you don't need to do that. And another thing I thought about today, when you're putting on your blusher, just take a little bit and put it on your eyes. You know, I today I put on like a little bit of light, just light here. Then when I was doing my blusher, I just followed the hollow of my eyes there and put it on. So, you know, I, I got ready in about five minutes. Uh, which is what I do in the morning and you know I could go anywhere right now because I've, I've got to go out in just a little bit but I look good I could have my mask on if somehow I go somewhere where I take my mask off I still look good I put on a little color right now which doesn't come off you know there's lots of them out there whether it be pencil or and there's a lot of uh, lipsticks or or uh, Different, different ones that will stay on your lips. So, you know, that's important. So this is, this is easy. Just, this is just a quickie. And I just wanted to remind you to keep it simple. And especially the older you get, keep it simple, you know. Five minute hairdo, you know, and that's all you need to do. And you look beautiful. So I look forward to hearing from you. If you need to talk to me, call me on my toll-free number, or you can email me, and I'm always happy to hear from you. Thank you. Bye.